Welcome. Today I'm going to do a brief demonstration of how to do basic rules of integration. We'll start off with our first example. We have the integral of x times radical 4 minus x squared dx. We're going to use a method called u substitution where we're going to let u equal 4 minus x squared. And then we're going to find du which will equal negative 2x dx. And now we're going to substitute for what we have. Well, actually, first, we notice that we have for du negative 2x, and in the problem, we only have x. So we're going to adjust the inside by negative 2, which means we have to adjust the outside by negative 1 half. So we're going to rewrite the problem as negative 1 half times the integral of negative 2x times the radical of 4 minus x squared dx. We can rewrite this again, replacing what we have for u and du as negative 1 half times the integral of u to the 1 half du. Now we can integrate the inside using our normal integration method and we'll get negative 1 half times 2 thirds u to the 3 halves, close parentheses, and plus c. Now we can substitute u for what we called it back in the initial part of the problem and distribute the one, negative 1 half to the 2 thirds u to the 3 halves. So we'll get negative 1 third um, 4 times 4 to minus x squared to 3 halves plus c. And then once again, with multiplying negative 1 third times 4 minus x squared, we'll get 4 minus x squared to 3 halves over 3, don't forget the negative, plus c. And that's how we do our first problem using u substitution. For our second example, we're going to use long division to help make this problem a bit easier to handle. Using long division, we are going to do x squared divided by x minus 1. We're going to, we know that x times x gives you x squared. And distributing that to what we're dividing by, we'll get x squared minus x. Now we have to subtract that in order to cancel things out and simplify it. So we're going to cancel these and we get x. Now the degree of what we're dividing by and this are still the same, so we can do another step. So we're going to do plus 1 and then multiply that here and then subtract it from here. So we're going to get another x minus 1. We're going to subtract it so the signs change and we're left with 1. Now we can now rewrite the initial problem as the integral of x plus 1 dx plus the integral of 1, the remainder from the long division, over x minus 1 dx. For the first part, we're just going to use our normal integration technique and get 1 half x squared plus x. And then for the second integral, we know that this is a natural log function because it's u prime over u. So we get plus the natural log absolute value sign of x minus 1 plus c. And that's how we do our second problem. For our third example, we're going to be looking at the integral of 16 over x squared plus 4 dx. Now we must remember what our arctan parent looks like. 1 over a arctan of x over a is equal to the integral of 1 over x squared plus a squared dx. If we factor out 16 from our problem, we get 16 times the integral of 1 over x squared plus 4. Now 4 is a perfect square and we can rewrite that as 2 squared. Now we have our a, our x, and what we factored out. So we can get 
after we integrate, we get 16 DX. times 1 over A, which is 1 half, arc tan of X over A, which is 2, plus C. We distribute the 16 in, and we get 8 arc tan of X over 2 plus C. That's